We've been living in Japan for about one and a half years in southern Ibaraki, where my wife's from. And last week we bought an abandoned farmhouse. Hi, I'm Jaya. Let's check it out. See, there's a car there. That's technically ours now, though we don't have the keys for it, and I'm not sure how we go about changing the rego over. Probably gonna have to dispose of it, which will cost a bit of money. bought this property in a public auction for just over 3 million yen or about 27,000 US dollars. The land size is quite large by Japanese standards at just under 1,400 square meters or 15,000 square feet. Got a tractor there. The farmer who owned it passed away about five years ago and it's been abandoned ever since. His children didn't want to inherit the property. This happens in Japan quite a lot, especially in rural areas like this, as younger people prefer urban areas and move away from farming. This is the main entrance to the house. When a place is abandoned, it means abandoned. They leave everything, as you can see. We're probably going to keep this building. Not 100% sure what we're going to do with it, but probably for storage, maybe a workshop, even a guest house, possibly.
I actually haven't had to look inside that shed over there. Got no idea what's inside it. One of the biggest costs to having this property is going to be clearing and disposing all of this junk. We're going to get this building knocked down. I have no idea what we're going to do with this. I don't even know what this is. Probably something to do with rice. An outside kitchen here. Part two, we'll look inside the main house. 